Hey everybody, it's Christopher Small, the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning, we do probate, we do it well. Today, I wanna to talk to you about trust distributions gone wrong. Before I get to that though, I wanna remind you, if you um, have any questions related to estate planning or probate um, that relate to this or anything else that you might wanna ask, and you wanna talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to cmslawfirm.com. Okay, trust distributions gone wrong. So what I'm talking about here is a, what, there are a couple of different ways that you can distribute assets out of a trust. And there, was, there, was, there are two that are better, and there was one that is worse, in my opinion. And I wanted to talk to you about those today so that you could make sure that if you have a trust, that you have just distributions set up correctly. And if you are thinking about making a trust, then you can make the right choice when it comes to how you want to structure those distributions once you're gone. Okay, that's what we're talking about. After you're gone, how are the how are the assets distributed to your beneficiaries? And there are, so there are three ways you can do that. One is at the discretion of the trustee, right? Typically, there's going to be on a discretionary basis for health, support, education, maintenance. Okay. Um, so if uh, if a beneficiary needs something, they have to ask the trustee. If it falls into one of those categories, then the trustee will distribute it. This is probably the most secure way to uh, to distribute assets out of the trust um, because they're only being distributed for a very specific purpose, and the trustee holds the discretion about whether or not they can actually do that. That's number one. Number two is, by the way, if you can't watch my video. We we're a little cockeyed there, so we're fixing that. Uh, number two is um, at the request of the beneficiary. So essentially there is no discretion from the trustee on whether or not those assets can be distributed, but the assets are held in trust until the beneficiary asks them to be distributed. This is uh, also a relatively secure way um, as um, distributions are not just being made no matter what to the beneficiary, but um, so there's some protection provided, but you know the trustee could or the beneficiary could always just ask for them, and that could be a problem. Number three, the least secure way, and this is probably the way that I would suggest that no one do this, is just an outright distribution to the beneficiary. The reason this can become a problem is, let's say you die, and then the beneficiary is involved in a car accident, or the beneficiary has to declare bankruptcy, or something happens where the beneficiary becomes um, a a debtor debtor to someone. They owe someone some money. And then you die and your trust requires the distribution of those assets out of the trust to the beneficiary. This is often a situation where there's not a lot of discretion there. The trustee simply has to cut a check to the beneficiary. And as soon as that check hits the beneficiary's bank account, the assets are grabbed up and sent over to someone else. So they're sort of just wasted in, in some ways. So you can prevent this oftentimes with the first two options for distributing assets. They remain in the trust. They don't re become the property of the beneficiary. And so those assets remain sort of safe, okay? So those are the three ways. And and also if, if that should happen, then the trust could do other things other than an outright distribution of assets to the beneficiary. They could, for example, pay for some things for the beneficiary. They can distribute that money out in a way that doesn't get scooped up by some some debtor, you know, or some bankruptcy trustee or something like that. So as you are structuring the distribution schedule for your trust, keep these things in mind. Make the choice that is best for you. As I always say, there is no right choice. There's just the choice that um, is uninformed. So if that's you, then make the right choice. Hopefully this helped. If it did, um, hit the like button someplace that you can subscribe and you don't want to miss any more any future episodes hit the subscribe button if you are someplace that you can leave a review please do so and if you have questions related to this or anything else related to estate planning and probate and you want to talk with us over the phone for free you can do so by going to cmslawfirm.com all right that is it for today i am christopher small i am the owner of cms law firm we do estate planning we do probate we do it well Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you, and I will talk to you again soon. See ya.